Hi everyone, a quick little video on my little tier 8 buddy, the Devastaya. I know I've pronounced that wrong, no need for the comments, but uh, if you look at the spelling, you'll probably get tongue-tied too. So the vehicle first went into uh, prototype production in 2017, and it's a self-propelled anti-aircraft gun. Unlike in Armoured Warfare, where it's a tank destroyer, it is primarily uh, designed for air defence. So the system will be second to none in the world. Ten companies are taking part in the ZAC 57. That's the gun designate, the 57mm auto cannon. Uh, development uh, as Burris Vincnik is the prime contractor developing its unmanned fighting module. An extremely important part is being played by the Tumish Design Bureau, which has developed a guided artillery projectile for the 57mm gun. The projectile kill probability is close to that of an air defence missile at uh, 0.8 for a subsonic small size target engaged with two projectiles. The Devastay's capabilities are not limited to those of anti-aircraft artillery or gun missile systems only. The 57mm weapon can be used also against ground threats including armour and manpower. As for the ZAC 57's air defence role, it can handle targets of all types including unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs, cruise missiles, multiple launched rockets at short range and some people believe anti-aircraft artillery is a thing of the past and service-to-air SAM systems are more effective or at least they can be used as part of a combined anti-aircraft gun missile system. It's that reason that the West discontinued the development of self-propelled anti-aircraft guns in the 1980s. Uh, however, the designers of this vehicle have managed to boost its effectiveness against aerial targets uh, since the cost of the SPAG's production and operation is far lower than that of making us uh, operating SAM and gun missile system. So as compared, so with it being used in self-prepared air defence vehicle, it's based on the BMP3 chassis fitted with the 57mm auto cannon and passive reconnaissance and target tracking equipment. It is designed to shoot down UAVs, cruise missiles, surface-to-air missiles, aircraft, helicopters, and MLRS rockets. Uh, the 2S38 is equipped with a TV thermal imaging system with auto target lock-on, tracking capabilities, a laser rangefinder, and a laser guidance system. The optical and electronic target acquisition system can spot aircraft at 6.4 kilometres and using sectoral observation, it can detect aircraft over 12 kilometres out. The cannon is fast enough to destroy targets travelling at 500 metres per second or 1,800 kilometres an hour, Mach 1.5 or 1,100 miles per hour. Laser guided and air burst and specialised anti drone munitions for the ZAC 57 are still in development. Its guided projectiles have four wings folded in the casing and controlled by the actuator in the projectile's nose cone, using energy and airflow to steer themselves to the target. This all is planned for completion uh, for state trials in 2022. I hope you enjoyed this video, and like others where I do these little specials, I will. Um, have a video attached on the end. Thanks very much and I hope you enjoy the game.
Reconnaissance. 